Welcome to Jerry Jr.'s Garage. Today we're going to be comparing something other than Hondas. I like anything fast, old, cool, latest and greatest, new, old, I like it all. In celebration of big block history, we're going to talk about the 427 Mystery V8 released in 1963 and compared it to the ZZ632 we have now today, which is GM's biggest most powerful crate engine released October of 2021. For 1963, the original 427 Mystery V8 was not for public sale, and I believe they even made less than 20 of these things. To clear up some misconception on what the Mystery 427 is, in 1963, GM produced 427 racing engines, two of them actually. The Z11 was built strictly for drag racing, sort of looks similar to the 348 or 409. However, the 427 Mystery engine was intended solely for NASCAR purposes only. These two engines are completely different animals. The first and original 427 Mark II V8 Mystery engine was designed by Richard L. Kenneth. He's also the one to blame for several of Chevrolet's successful V8 engines. No surprise there. First off, and perhaps the most interesting thing that I thought was cool, are the intake and exhaust valves being staggered, canted, or tipped relative to the cylinder bores. It's kind of a neat looking engine with the valve cover off. The Mystery V8 was a totally different block from also the 348 or 409. It had a unique valve cover mounting pattern, cast iron pushrod guides, two and one nine inch diameter intake valves, and inch and 7 twos for exhaust valves. Now keep in mind for 1963 they did test different displacement combinations as you would expect 409, 427 and 396. They tested four dual plane intake manifold designs and they were all tried in combination with a single Holley four barrel carburetor. In the end horsepower figures were extremely respectable with claims of up to 600 horsepower back then. Recent dyno numbers put these numbers truly around 530 to 540 horsepower but still for over 60 years ago in 1963 that's extremely good now fast forwarding to today's 1000 horsepower on 93 pump gas zz 632 great engine animal oh yeah and 860 876 pound feet of torque this engine makes its peak power at 6600 RPM with a maximum recommendation of 7,000 RPM. Now, you guys know most of your performance comes from the ability of having good cylinder heads. Because after all, an engine is just an air pump. The cylinder heads are of course aluminum spread port RSX designed with 70cc chambers. What's interesting is traditionally blocks are designed with variations in port shape from cylinder to cylinder. However, in this case, all eight of the ZZ632 intake ports have the same length, volume, and layout. On this engine, even the exhaust ports are identical, which I guess means the symmetry ensures that each individual cylinder port all produce the same similar power. The symmetrical RSX ported cylinder heads are a product of Ron Sperry, who designed them as one of his final accomplishments after more than 50 years working specifically on General Motors performance racing engines. As if that's not enough, you know it's going to be good considering he was also the guy and designer behind the ports on Chevy's iconic small block LS1 V8 which was originally released in the 1997 Corvette. Perhaps what I love most about this platform is the iron block. Although it's similar to the 572, it has significantly longer stroke and has survived over 200 simulated drag racing strip passes on an engine dyno. Nothing like a good old cast iron four bolt tall deck bow tie. If you guys are interested in learning more about this or want to get an up close and personal view with it, well, lucky for you, it's being debuted at the 2021 SEMA show in Vegas. You guys can see it there, check it out. And hopefully we get a price. Thanks for watching Jerry Jr.'s Garage. Smash the like button. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram.